Hey everybody, Champ Thunderdick again. Part 28. Whoop de doops. I decided I'm gonna start doing the bottle cap press thing. So let's go do that. I kinda wanted to get the pulse rifle before I started doing the quest that involved fighting robots just because it's easier to kill them with that thing, but eh, that's a longer, more complex quest than it needs to be for the moment. So I'll worry about that later, I guess. I will shoot them with my baby laser. That reminds me, baby laser. I have my, uh, I have this thing. Let's pop that mug in there and then pop my stim packs in number six. Oh no, I like having the first top row easy, easy access for my fingers because I don't, I used to have a, uh, a, a, um, an MMO mouse. It had the buttons on the side so I could click all 12 uh, keys. But for some unknown Looks reason, like time's over. for some unknown reason, the new computer I had, the, uh, I don't know, I just, I have a new mouse and keyboard that it came with, so I felt like, this you know, might as well use it. And it is a nice mouse. It works every, in everything, and it does its job pretty well. It's just that, I don't know, I, I like having those buttons. I might end up switching back to my old mouse just because I like the convenience of the buttons on the side, but they don't render me useless or anything. I can still use the mouse without the buttons. It's just nice to have them somewhere close by so I don't have to keep pressing them with my, um, with my left hand. Suck it down. Well, either way, we are... Wait, before I start, let me make sure I'm not doing this with that retarded-ass garbage thing here. Sorry, everyone. Hold on a moment. Okay, good. It is recording with the with the last shit mouse. I was gonna, Or the last shit mic. I was going to get mad. Last time I did this, it recorded with the shit mouse. Or the shit... I keep saying shit mouse. The shit microphone that's in my laptop that's built in. So all you could hear was my fan and background static because of the way that it receives um, backup noise. I will murder that check turn so hard. But yeah, so either way, rambling aside, still waiting on them to finish my computer, um, replace the power supply because they just received it. Um, the cheap asses in in cyber powers offices all decided that, that that they shouldn't be obligated to give me express shipping for the fact that I paid express shipping for it but whatever the sooner they get it fixed the less time I'll have to sit there and bitch that they haven't fucking finished it Here yet so go. this is their one and only chance like last time like I said in my other video you don't get a part two after this Fuck it up. Holy crap. Oh my god. For a fucking second there I was concerned that ball arms came into my game and started fucking slamming into everything. Jesus mold. All this freaking protectron slamming around. I was gonna punch you in the dick there again, but you you stopped. Good thing for your dick too there, Champo. I know that I could have just, you know, done the actual guessing first and then worked my way out from there, but I don't know, I like being cheap and easy. <laughs> Not unlike a whore who's cheap and easy in bed. I like being cheap and easy when it comes to solving puzzles because fuck that. I don't know. I like puzzle games though. I know I keep rambling. It's not because I'm intentionally trying to run the mouth. Oh! Level up! <coughs> Haven't stopped doing that yet, so. <laughs> Be prepared to hear that just as much as I said I was gonna do it before. Uh, lock pick. I think that'll be the next set of stuff I start throwing points into. Will probably be lock pick just because I'm tired of everything going. You don't have a high enough lock pick. 
Now I can actually, you know, unlock shit. Which would be nice. Goofy garbage bamble bangs. After I get done searching this area and clearing out all the um, robots and garbage, I'll probably pause the recording and search through all the shit just because I know there isn't a whole lot of useful stuff in here. I'll search through all the uh, the shelves and desks and things off camera so you guys don't have to watch me take 10 minutes to do this. Says the thing is shooting me with violence. Truly, logic escapes you. Um, but like I was saying, uh, I'll, turn, I'll do all that crap off camera so it doesn't take me 25 minutes to do it. As I know that searching through this building is kind of a slow, boring process because there's a whole lot of random shit you can find in here, but I don't know. I like searching, damn it. Take that, damn you. I knew you were going to turn into a bad guy the minute I started talking to you because you'd say, where's my manager? You're not my manager, and then I would have to shoot you in the face anyway, so I'd, <laughs> I just went ahead and took the advantage. You goofy bottling robot, you so cray. This is a good place to get free sarsaparillas if you're like me and like using them as an alternative to stim packs. It's a really good place to get that, you know, because it's a fucking bottling plant. <laughs> so, just to state obvious facts here, you can come here for free, easy. Free, easy stuff if you want to do that kind of thing. And that'll be, that'll be a good place to stop for now. I'm going to pause the recording and search all this poop and then come back when I'm done. I'll probably be outside when I finish. That way you don't have to worry about me having to walk through the building again. So I'll be right back. And we're back, everybody. Came by Gunrunners, sold some crap. So that was an off-camera thing just so you wouldn't have to sit there and go, Oh my god, he's going to the Gunrunners and he has to pause again to sell more shit. What a dumbass. I was already aware of that. So I did it off camera. Suck it down. Going over to uh, the Crimson Carry van. That shady ass dude over there in the right hand side. You see that? The fuck is that guy doing? Shady ass bug. Shady ass bug. Thinking he cool or some shit. Go to McLafferty and tell her she's Lafferty. You so silly, McLafferty. Your name is McLafferty. Me, 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 me. <laughs> All right. After this, I may or may not even actually do some some distraction time gaming here. Do another episode of something. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking about some Dark Souls one, just because I do enjoy some Dark Souls. And I've never recorded any of that, just because I feel like if I did, too many people would go, Oh my god, look at this scrub lord, he's so bad. And then I'd be like, yeah, I'm pretty shitty. <laughs> feel all bad about it. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Good. Sandwich. Uh... It's been a... I thought I've taken care of business every day, taking care of business every way. I'm, uh... Sure. Just don't treat me like a pack Brahmin, okay? I am gonna give Mr. Man here my armor. Just because I do enjoy being able to run at regular speed and having my skills um, be unaffected by the weight of this shit is nice. Because this armor is still very decent. It's easily refixable, it costs less to repair, and, uh, like I said, my stats don't get affected by it. I used to have a mod that made this armor look like the classic armor from the first game. It was called, um, Classic Metal Armor or something like that. And it had, um, the original leather pieces in between the metal, and it looked really good because it was an ultra, ultra, um, poly count, high collision mesh style fancy pantsy uh, high detail texture so it looked very cool especially with the other mod I had on because I had an uh, I had an uh, EMB mod on that made the game look really sexy so 
I, I know I, I take I tend to take a lot of the mods that Al Chess Breach uses just because a lot of the time when I watch him play around with mods when I watch his videos I like the mods he uses so I end up using a lot of the mods he does it's not because I'm trying to copy him it's just because the mods he has look really cool so I'm like fuck it that looks pretty cool I'm gonna yank that some of the stuff he ha doesn't have I do have um, I was using in my original playthrough of the game before I turned it to recording and had to turn off a lot of stuff because of the way it was freaking out. But it's whatever. Why are you out here? Did your friend get murdered or something? You're just like wandering like a drunk. I know you're a mercenary, but geez, dude, you look like you're sad or something. You're just kind of wandering around like, huh, I guess I'll go over here. Bloody bloody. The reason I'm going over here is because I wanted to talk to the uh, doctor lady. Ishigawa, or whatever her name is, I forget. I, I think it's something like that, though. I know it's Japanese in some way. I just don't recall exactly how you say it. I haven't had to talk to her in a long time. Mostly because I don't use the, uh... I don't use the, uh... The, uh... The, uh, implants. Unit. Usanagi, there we go, that's what her name was. Dr. Usanagi. <laughs> Had a brain fart for a minute there. Hello! Welcome to the New Vegas Medical Clinic. Yes. If you've got the caps. Sounds terrible, because I don't have any damn money. Do you sell things? Can I buy them? Doop, 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 doop. Be right back. That was a quick little pause there, just because I didn't know how much shit she had, but I knew she was a medical seller, so I only bought stem packs because I really didn't need any of the other crap she had. I don't use, um, I don't use doctor bags that often, and when I do use them, it's only because I know my limbs are about to break. Nine times out of ten, if I have limbs that aren't broken but just kind of messed up, I usually just um, sleep at a bed, or I uh, pop some Hydra. Which I know you can get addicted to Hydra. A lot of people don't really realize that, but Hydra is still technically a drug, just like Jet and Buff Out. You can still get addicted to it. People are always like, "Oh my God, use Hydra! Stop wasting all your doctor bags!" But you get addicted to Hydra because it's a drug, just like anything else. So when you were yelling at, um, when you were yelling at Chest Breach for not using freaking Hydras. That's all on you, because Hydras are drugs, and I'm sure he was probably scared of getting addicted to it, like everything else he gets addicted to when he tries to avoid getting addicted to things. He was probably just trying not to get addicted because he didn't want to get stuck with negative effects from being addicted to Hydra. I can't recall what problem happens when you get addicted to Hydra, because I don't know. I've never had that issue. I usually just use Fixer when I have a problem, but... He has drugs for bad and gay on most of the time, and that makes Fixer have that annoying ass um, Cazador sting sound. I'm only killing these Brahmin because they're mad Brahmin. Plus, it's funny. <laughs> I'm heading this way because I'm going to try and reach the boomers. Yeah, I know it's a bad idea to try this early for the boomers, considering I don't have a high enough, uh, I don't have a really high agility. I have a pretty high agility. What I usually do anyway is I take all my pants off, which sounds weird in context. <laughs> Out of context, that'd be a weird joke. Um, I take all my clothes off, I pop a Medex and um, I sometimes a Turbo, depending on the circumstance. Not because it boosts your agility, just because I like having that extra slow down time. Then I, um, I just stick to the walls uh, furthest away from the actual fence. I don't run straight in the, down the middle. I run to the side and I kind of edge along the walls and then when I get close to the fence the shooting stops. So it's usually I'll take a little bit of damage but not nearly as much damage as I would if I were to just run straight for it like a dumbass. That's my method anyway. It's pretty pretty broken and stupid method but it's the only one I know that works without having to be sneaky. Like, you want to sneak through it and run and hide and in between all the buildings and take 25 minutes to do it? No? Well, well then. Looks like you're going to have to run straight for it like a madman. Holy crap, I found more BBs. Thank you. Now I can use that crazy baby gun some more. 
I might end up using that crazy baby gun. I don't have a lot of gun skill though, so it's still a low, still a low damage. I'll have to uh, have to boost my guns when I feel like it. I don't really care enough because I already have a combat skill, so it would be a waste of uh, waste of perk points, skill points, if I did that. But whatever. Um, I think I'm gonna probably stop it here. Not because I'm trying to be, you know, suspenseful, but just because once I start making my ass over towards the boomers, that'll start a shitload of side quests for the boomers. And I'd rather make that more important, like its own video, than just to say, I did some stuff. Then the boomers! So, I'll do that next time, and then we can start the boomer shit. Whoa there, pal. Hey! You better slow down. Damn it, George. Now that I've got your att All right, whatever. Whoa, simmer down. I've made some cash from gambling. Uh, is there a way past? Wager? 300. He'll give you more money if you let him live. Or if you kill him, he'll have all the money, so it doesn't matter, but whatever. Uh, that'll be the end of this video, and I'll start the boomers up next time. So I'll catch y'all later.